Hi guys, Camp with Josh here. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I'm testing out my new hot tent by Pamoli and it's an Oktoberfest special. Cheers. The Dome X4 hot tent has an inner and also a ground sheet. I'm not going to use those today, I'm going to have it quite open. I have a raised bed to use so I'll be off the ground and the stove will be absolutely fine because it has legs to it as well which would be a lot cooler. So I'm going to get everything else set up inside and I'll be raring to go. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So I don't normally use raised beds, um, only when I do family camping, as is a bit more luxury with the kids. But because this tent is a luxury tent, very spacious, I thought why not get a nice raised bed instead of sleeping on the floor. So I'm going to sleep very nice tonight, nice and raised, somewhere to sit, somewhere to eat, or looking at the stove, looking at the fire and keeping nice and warm. It's gonna be very cozy tonight. <laughs> it's gonna be a good one. What I'm really excited to try is the Baker Hot Tent stove, which is gonna fit nicely in this tent. I'm gonna cook off this. The awesome thing about it, I can cook inside if I want, but today I'm just gonna cook straight on top. And this is gonna keep the tent nice and warm during the night. It's not winter, it's autumn now, but there's definitely a chill in the air. Clouds look like there could be a bit of rain coming in, but this would be perfect. Put a couple of little logs in there, go to sleep, and be nice and toasty and warm. I might not even need a sleeping bag, which is amazing, but I'm looking forward to it. So let's get this set up, and we'll get some food on the go soon. Cheers guys, big old pretzel, going down well. It is Oktoberfest after all, and it's the Oktoberfest special video. I'm gonna be cooking some lovely German meals, a lovely German dinner, and breakfast as well. So I'm gonna drink these lovely little beers here. Hofbrau, lovely German beer. Thank you Daniel Lee over at Brass Monkey in Gisborough for hooking me up, and hooking me up with a nice Stein glass as well. I'm gonna drink well today, I'm going to cook some lovely bratwurst sausages later, cooked in beer as well. And I'll show you guys that later on. But first, I'm going to open these, sip a bit of beer and answer some questions. Because over on Instagram and on YouTube, I asked you guys to ask me some questions for my next camping adventure. So let's get started. So Camping Dan 85 has asked me, if money was no object, what would you treat yourself for camping? Definitely some sort of off-roading camping vehicle which would allow me to drive into places like this. As you can tell, I didn't fit all that in my backpack. 
<laughs> that's for sure. No, something like that would be awesome. But thankfully I'm out of Permission Woodland today and my car is not too far away where I can bring stuff like this and have a nice little luxurious camp now and again. But definitely an off-roading camping beast. Cheers Dan for the question. Next is Unknown Survivalist. He says, great videos mate. Thank you very much. I really enjoy watching them. What do you find hardest when it comes to content creation? Well, thankfully I enjoy photography. I enjoy filmmaking. I've always had a love for it. It's something that I've always done as a child. Um, I went to uni and studied film. It, um, I also do it as a freelance job on the side of my full-time work. So I really enjoy filmmaking and storytelling. So bringing the camera along when I go camping doesn't feel like an extra chore. It's like just bringing another arm with me, another extension of my body, um, which I feel really natural doing. Um, I guess the only thing that I find a little bit of a struggle at times, not all the time, is the balance of camping. So going out camping for me is a way for me to relax, time for me to switch off. It gives me time amongst nature just to chill out and relax. But of course when I'm filming, I have to think a little bit differently. Um, put my camera over here or my camera over there, filming. But what I always do to make sure there's a nice balance is that I switch my camera off um, certain parts of the day. So there might be like a two hour interval before I film again, just for me to just chill out, have a beer, have a walk about and enjoy it. And that's why I always tend to shut off after um, dinner time, after I have my evening meal and I say I'll see you guys in the morning. Because during that time, it's just time for me just to chill out, lay back, enjoy the fire and enjoy what camping is all about. But I enjoy taking you guys along with me and I appreciate you guys enjoying the videos as well. So for me going camping and knowing that you guys are enjoying the videos too makes it all worthwhile. And uh, I love reading your comments, so thank you very much. So I'm going to answer some more questions a bit later on. But first, I might do a bit of catty shooting and then I might process some wood. So let's have a bit of fun doing that and then I'll get the stove on the go and cook up dinner. So I recently upgraded on my catty. Um, Steve, as you know, makes them so i've upgraded got myself and purchased one of these lovely new ones nice and bulky now there is a giveaway in this video i'm going to be giving away the previous catty that steve gave me which he's very happy for me to do um, i'll explain that shortly of how you can win yourself one of those as a bit of a thank you for the 5,000 subscribers which i'm so thankful for so thank you so much for supporting me and the channel so let's hope and get this one first go. Yes. Do you know what? I'm going to go further back. So this is about 20 meters away. Let's see. Uh... <laughs> let's see if I can hit that. I might be a bit optimistic here, but these catties are fantastic. So this is for you, Steve. Let's see if I can do it. 20 meters away.
It's already hot in here. It is so warm. It's gonna be nice tonight though when the temperature drops. I thought I'll give the stove its first burn. I've got the water tank on there as well. Filled it up. So soon I'll be able to make myself a coffee and also make my mashed potato for later on as well. But while I'm doing that, I might as well sip some more beer. Eh? And answer one of your questions as well. So the station master has asked, which season do you like camping in the most? Is it spring, summer, autumn or winter? Definitely the colder months for me. I prefer autumn because the colors are so beautiful. The orange just glows during the sunlight and that orange fire just complements it. It's absolutely gorgeous, I love it. And winter, I love it because there's no bugs about, no mosquitoes, everything is dead <laughs> like that, that can bite you. And the fire just means so much more when it's really cold and bitter outside and you just sat around the fire. Absolutely amazing. You can cook a nice warm meal and it just makes it all worth it. Autumn and winter. My worst, in fact, is summer. I can't stand summer. It's too hot for me. Um, but I like spring because the trees are starting to change colour again and life is uh, blossoming. So, but summer, my worst but autumn and winter my favourite. So Silent But Deadly, I love the name, has asked, do you think that camping is the best therapy? If so, is it more therapeutic to solo camp or with friends or with family or both? Wow, so for me, camping is the best therapy. I say this a lot of time to my friends. It allows me to unwind. It allows the world to stop and to time to stop and just for you to connect with nature and for me to connect with my faith as well. I use this time to talk to God as well and just enjoy being around nature and his creation. So it's very therapeutic for me to solo camp um, because it has its benefits with no distractions. I also enjoy camping with friends because you get to have a laugh, uh, have a beer or enjoy good food together and cook together and share a story around the fire and that's something I really much enjoy. I've got to meet so many good people from this community that now I can call a friend um, and it's awesome. And camping with family as well, of course. Camping with my beautiful wife and my kids. They have its benefits as well. Raising my children around nature and to enjoy it. And it takes them out of that hectic school life and homework and things like that. And it allows us to just connect well as a family. I don't know if I have a favorite style of camping really because I've had such a good time camping with friends, family and by myself but it's definitely the best therapy. I mean, I've struggled with my own mental health throughout the years, and I find that camping for me is very healing. And the woods is my therapist, is my doctor. <laughs> um, but that's for me. Uh, yeah, cheers for the question. So the fire has just died out, but I think it's time to get it on again because there's a little bit of a chill going on and uh, the coffee has gone down nicely as well. Uh, that little water tank there is so good, it heats up so well and it just pours out some nice boiling hot water. I'm going to fill up again um, so I can do my mashed potato because I'm going to be doing some bratwursts uh, cooked in beer 
um, with some sauerkraut as well, mashed potatoes. It's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. So let's get the fire on, because I'm getting hungry. Oktoberfest being here, I thought, you know what, I'm going to try something different, try some German meals, and tomorrow's breakfast is going to be really good as well, so stay tuned for that. These bratwurst sausages, oh boy, they're good. Mm. So I boiled them in a nice German beer, Schlenkerle, it's a Rausch beer, it's added so much flavour to it. Beautiful mashed potato to go with it as well, and sauerkraut as well and some mustard really good i'm just eating it straight out of the cast iron skillet there um, to keep all those juices in and keep the heat as well so good well guys it's that time of the evening for me to say good night and i'll see you guys in the morning it is 22 degrees in this hot tent and the fire has been out for over an hour. It's 10 past 11 now and it's 79% humidity in here. It's so cosy and warm. And I don't think I'm going to need my sleeping bag tonight. Tomorrow morning I'm going to probably do a little bit of target practice with Steve Baker's slingshots. And I'll let you guys know then how you get yourself one of those. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning and we'll talk more then. But I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Good morning guys. I have never slept so well in the woods before. Was that a train? 
<laughs> I have slept so well. It is just gone 10 o'clock in the morning. I must have slept for about 11 hours. Wow. Very cozy and warm in here. Highly recommend. It's going to be perfect for the winter this. But I'm going to get out now, stretch my legs and uh, cook some breakfast. Yeah. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. So shortly guys, I'm going to let you know how you can win yourself one of these as a thank you for the 5,000 subs, which I massively appreciate. So for your chance to win guys, all you need to do is make sure you're subscribed, follow me over on Instagram and follow Steve Baker over on Instagram too, to show our appreciation for his handiwork. If you don't have Instagram, do not worry, you're still entered in the draw if you're subscribed. They are for a bonus entry, but make sure you comment down below that you've entered as well, so I know that you're in for the draw. And then the winner will be announced in my next YouTube video. It's gonna be quite hard to say goodbye to this one, to be honest, um, as it was my very first, very first one. But you guys have been a massive, massive support and I want to give back with something that I love and enjoy playing with, so this is for you. Cheers guys, and good luck. This is so good. The Germans know how to do a good breakfast. This is a German's farmer's breakfast. It's got bacon, potatoes, tomatoes, green peppers, leeks, onions. It's got chili powder in there, a bit of garlic, whisked eggs, and also some melted cheese to finish it off. Absolutely gorgeous. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> That's for the fox. <laughs> mm. well, thanks guys for watching. It's been a great little adventure. Eating German meals, shooting some catties and trying out a new hot tent for the winter months ahead. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish this off, pack up and head out. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. James Allen has asked me, hey Josh, I would love to know what inspired you to become a YouTuber and want to share your camping experiences and adventures with others on social media platforms. What video editing software do you use? And are you a Mac or PC user? Thanks, best wishes from James. So what inspired me to do YouTube is that, well, when I first started on Instagram, 
posting photos and videos and reels and things like that. But the people I've met through the community have really inspired me to do YouTube. Um, I remember where I was camping with some friends and uh, my friend Simon um, said to me, Josh, I really enjoy the videos that you do on Instagram. Why don't you do YouTube? I've noticed that you've got a couple of videos on there already, but why haven't you done more or what, why are you not doing more? Um, and at that moment, I realized that the interest was there and there was some belief in me to do videos and my friends and family around me enjoyed the content and I thought well how can I extend that and of course that's YouTube um, and since doing that um, I fell in love with being creative for myself I'm so used to doing video shoots or maybe photography for work um, for subtle side projects and it's nice to be able to be creative for myself um, whilst other people enjoying it and what video editing software do you use and do you use a Mac or PC? I use Final Cut Pro and I use a Mac so thanks for the question James so EC Outdoors has asked me what is your biggest thing you have achieved in life and how it does reflect on it make you feel I think my family um, being a father being a husband and being able to raise three beautiful daughters and the fact is that they love going outdoors so much um, is a great achievement <laughs> um, you know it's it's humbling to know that our girls look up to us as parents and having the honor to be parents um, and to raise children and uh, yeah my wife's my everything and I guess my biggest achievement would be having met my wife and for her saying yes <laughs> to marry me so yeah my family are my biggest achievement in life and reflect on it is a um is a great thing and how does it make me feel make me feel warm and happy and uh yeah i feel good Well, just like that, I'm all packed up. I've dropped off everything else in the car, just my bag and my camera to go. But it's been a great camp. It's been great testing out a new tent, a new stove to get ready for the winter. So it's time for me to head on out. But thanks guys for joining another adventure and I'll see you next time. Remember to stay wild and stay safe. Peace. <laughs>